and welcome back to the next episode of Age of Engineering. Okay, so last episode was the big dig, which was 17.5, so this one is 18. Um, so as you can see, I'm just filling in this area. I don't really like grass because it's annoying. It's pretty, but annoying. Anyway, so there we go. This is our new area that we can actually work in. So, yay! How's that? Oh, excuse me. Okay, so let's get to work with moving this stuff. Uh, this one actually. So we will be taking this. I know we'll need dirt over there. So we grab some dirt. I know I just dug up a heap of it, but it had to be done. And that's all I need on the bars. So let's think. So we'll have pipe, pipe, drawers, pipe, pipe, and then we'll have this here, and then it will come underneath up. Actually, let's so the pipes underneath. We need a good. Oh no, that would actually be all right there. Yeah, a little bit closer. So we can have three lines out. Uh, actually, I will move it one out to there because we'll have it going underneath and into the drawers. It will give us if we go for what to here and around. Yeah, it should be good. So we go doink. Now I'll just do around it, like so, put you back in and you back in, and the expansions, so this will give it a closer area, so I'll, I'll end up moving, we'll, ha we'll be having another one anyway, actually that's pretty straight on the middle, cool, so we'll have another one here. So one, two, three. So that will overlap, actually. We might have just have to do it down here. So, and then the pipings will actually end up joining, and then, yeah. So that'll do. So that will be for our oak, and then rubber, and probably have our blast furnaces over here. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. Sorry on our garden over here because we can still have room over this way for our blast furnaces generally I try and keep the coke and blast furnaces close because you need coal coke to come in blah da da and all that fun stuff so okay it's raining awesome okay so I want to fill this area in so I don't get night spawns anymore which I need lots of lights so we could either lay down lots and lots of glowstone, because I can get heaps of that from the nether, or torches. I think I'll go with the glowstone. So, I actually don't have enough. So let's make a quick duck into the nether. Let's make a quick duck into the nether. So we are going to go farm a duck. Quack? I don't know. Don't ask me. So let's just... Right click and put all them away. We don't really need anything else. Our sword is still good. We don't need any more rice because we're not going to go delving into the deep. Okay, so glowstone. over there. Uh oh. I'm not actually copying fall damage because I have dark steel boots on so I'm not cheating. These are the boots. They're actually nearly out of power so they will be, or actually they are out of power. So they're pretty much useless in a little bit. So how much power we got left? Uh, there you go, 24,000. So we don't have much power left in the boots, so we need to get more boots. So, well not boots, power. Which I'm actually quite close to. Oh no, 
it's only for a little bit of glowstone, but oops, past it. We need to find a big mound of glowstone. So, well, not big, but enough to create quite a few. Gotta traverse, don't we? There's a nice patch. It's nice and high, isn't it? Okay, so We'll have to cut this lava off. Okay. Beautiful. This is going to be a high dig, isn't it? A high dig, high build. Just to get some glowstone. Okay, so Quite a bit of it actually. Um, a little bit more. Never hurt anyone. Except if you're OD. Yeah, don't don't do drugs, kids. Or adults. Okay, I think that's enough. Any more? Nah. Okay, so we go home, and it's night time. Sleepy sleep time. <laughs> so what we do... Do that. Let's see how many in here. There's not enough, but it's equal amount. So there we go. We have quite a bit of glowstone now. So uh, turn on our overlay. So we should be doing uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I don't know if this will cover it all, no it's not quite enough. So if we come back into here, there, and this may only give us 3, no, 
but it went in my backpack. That's why I can't find it. Yep, so only three. And I'll quickly go get some more smooth stone. I don't even know where I put the damn thing. There. So that's the optimal range. One, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three would be one, so one, two, three here. So this should, so every one like this, which I usually actually do, I thought it was. Now this doesn't overlap, so if one of these gets broken, you'll have like parts missing. So. Here and then here. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Look at that, right on the border. So that's a good spot. So here. So technically, we could line up everything. Now as we build we may actually um, overstep or place over it or whatnot. So like here. We'll get one here, but the next one will be right on the corner underneath here. See so right there. Which, you know, it don't work bruh. I guess we'll do that. That's fine. Now it's the same in here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six should be here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. One, two, three, four, five. See, another one right there. So we'll go here. Actually, there. Problem with that is, can't put one in the corner there. We should be able to knock out that torch and that torch. Yeah, okay, so we'll just put it back in the middle. There, yeah, whatever. And there. So that's pretty much how it will look. Now I know we need to do a lot over here. But I want to. This is why I made heap of dark oak. I, I've got more somewhere, but I don't think it'll be enough. But I want them to stop them from coming. From the top here. And the easiest way that I do it. Just make sure uh, it's so they can't jump. Is a fence. Pretty much the same rules. I think it only needs to be one away, but I do two. As I said, this will all be gone eventually once I get a steady supply of gunpowder or the drill. Which the drill's looking closer and closer. So and the dark oak just looks it makes it look amazing. So I don't know why I did that, but hey. Block this off. As you can 
see I have oops some some spots clear. I know I know I need to do the roof, but I'm enjoying doing this for now. Now I know it's going to keep dropping down, but that doesn't bother me because this is going to be a full all the way along until I can level it properly. And the way that I'll get up and down I'll work out in a bit, but probably just some stairs or until I get the dark sword whatever that's called. Now it's going to come down to here because they should not follow it all the way around, they'll stand at there and go blah, 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 blah and yeah, try and annoy me. So and I'll need more dirt, so while I'm here trying not to waste my boots I'll grab two lots this will eventually go all the way around and I'll spawn some villagers, there's one just over there one guy left I'm hungry. I should have something to eat after this, shouldn't I? I did buy some bread today, so... Yum yum. I don't like the bread that my mother gave me the other day, so... It's... Ewe. I only... Yeah. Cheap bread. People buy it. I don't like it. But it was given to me so by my mother. All good when you come to her hood. Well. Okay, so this is coming along nicely. A little bit boring. Oh no, I know, I know. God damn it, why does it use so much to to s record this? It must have a setting wrong somewhere because the other lot was only doing about 3 gig per episode now this one's doing what is it? it's at 6 gig now for 20 minutes oh I'm out I'm not too sure why it's so high I need a new hard drive new ter 2 terabyte drive because I've only got a 500 uh, 500 gig because when I originally built my machine I didn't think I would need that much storage device uh, drive because I have a 512 uh, SSD so all my games and windows and everything like that and that's always kept me happy the second drive was for backup data and if I deleted a game that was huge you know like GTA or The Witcher I wouldn't or remove it from Steam I would copy the data to my second drive so I wouldn't have to re-download it because I go back to them every now and then I actually haven't even finished The Witcher off yet which I should one day now I don't know why I'm doing it this high here but eh, it'll make it look like it's you know, enclosed and I actually need wood because I forgot I need sticks let's chop up this dark oak beautiful love the look of this oak it's a little bit sad that they changed it from a single thing to a uh, double. Now, I only need 64. There you go. As you can see, mobs are already spawning. Now, why the reason I do this is because as much as I love to play Minecraft and you have to worry about the other things in it, I really hate the mob spawning so and annoying me because you got to sleep and I think it's a waste of time so this is why I thought I had another I do not much though that won't 
fill that all up. So I'll probably need more dark oak. Chum low. I'm going to quickly sleep. This will stop the monsters from coming into my base and annoying me at night time once I've removed all the yellow spots. Made it all visible. Well, not visible, but lit. Um, yeah. So it will stop them from annoying me and it will be peace and quiet. And I slowly expand it over time, ripping the fence down or whatever, so and expanding more outwards. And I'll eventually get there. Now, I know you're going to be like, well, why do you put torches on it? Because I like to know that I'm safe. So, yeah, this is just extra precautions. And I'll be out of fences. I'm damn close, though. I don't really need fences down this way. So, because of the wall is actually quite tall, and um, I won't bother counting, but every now and then, just a torch. <laughs> See, I watch other streamers. Oh, I missed one. I watch other streamers play Minecraft and they have an open base and get attacked or they're building something and they get attacked and it's rather annoying and they're like oh I should do something about it and they never do and yeah they spend the whole entire time or the night and they're like oh I'm getting attacked then they have to defend themselves and I'm like just build a fence just just take two seconds and just go build a fence and that's what I did that's not what I wanted really I'll just restart that again I know I made a heap of sticks from dark oak and I was like oh what did I do that for I'm a little bit slow it's just there eighteen should be enough see doesn't that look a lot better I'll end up changing that to or pushing that out actually because I'll end up using quite a bit of space I'll have to come back and chop all these trees down, all the dark oak trees, and replant them. But I like to make sure that my base is nice and secure. Um, so this will stop them from spawning within a certain range. And generally, most of them won't come down and. Uh, come down around the corner, they'll generally stay up the top, so I'll only do that for now. But if they try and come around, they'll fall down, get stuck. But the ones that do spawn over here, that actually shouldn't come. But I'll end up moving the fence and doing a big perimeter all around the town. So we look like we're fenced in, uh, but I'll be digging all this out all the way around. I'll probably dig all this out too here, and then leave that mountain at the back there, because I don't think the village goes that far back. So, yeah, it does. So I'll probably just chop it down and then come around, or remove the mountain altogether, that one, and just push it. So it looks like it. Just, it, just throw lots of grenades at it and just, yeah, blow it up. But, alas, this is it now, so we can run around and we can secure all this. So we don't want any mobs spawning within a certain range, because if they spawn over here and they see me, they'll come walking over that way, but if you prevent them, so...
None should spawn. I don't know if I can see up there, but... No. Okay. I know I need more. But this should stop them from spawning and raiding the village. So... So much here. Oh, I've got to fill that back in. Oh, and I'm out of torches. So this is going to take a little while to do by the look of it. See, now everything's stopped, it recharges okay. So let's quickly... Uh, one, two, three... So that's, yeah, one, two, three, four, five... Oh, did I count that wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, that's right. I'll do one here anyway. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Okay. See, I'm just preparing quality of life stuff. So... Uh, because once I actually get it all down, like all this changed and whatnot, it will be a lot better. See, there's just... So much area to clear. So much for lighting that up, hey. <laughs> Just knock out the window, put a light in for you. So we have one villager that is actually alive for now. He's been hiding. I'll have to go capture another villager and make them reproduce. So that means finding another goddamn village. But I think I'll do that once the village is classed as safe. And currently it's not. As you can see. It'll, I'll end up redesigning this village uh, into... Did I check in here for a chest? I think I did. Yeah. So once the village has been made non spawnable for mobs, we'll be okay. But at the moment, it's not. Okay. And I got plenty of glowstone. I kind of went overboard. And I'll reclaim it when I get back to resize it or refixing this village up. By then I should have a really good ore generation, so I won't have to go back into the nether. So, let's 
couple of pigs and cows over here, isn't there? Which I'll have to capture and make my own little pens. Oh wow, I didn't even notice this went this far. And I'm out. So that should hopefully make this village nice and clear, which it looks like I missed some in the inside and around here. See? So I've, I need some books, I know where to come. Um, but yeah, this looks good for now. What was it? Oh, this is a jam guy. There's still quite a few places that need to be fixed up, but... Oh, and there you go, this is the end of the episode. So, we didn't really do much except the protection. That's what this one's going to be called. Get protected. And, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Laters.